Corgi's doing? That's a better question. Do we have a corgi? We do. We have a corgi. There he is. Look at that. Look at that dog. Hey, Three Aki, how are you? How is everyone's weekend going? Seems like um, the weekend's just kind of flown by, especially like in the build up to Christmas, right? Like there's just so much to do and it's Hanukkah. So it just feels like there's so much to do right now. <laughs> Hard to find time to play games, am I right? Um, par partially, I think that one of the issues I'm having <laughs> is that I'm playing um, Lethal Company every night, <laughs> which is taking away from the chores I should be doing. Oh, we got a good boy point. Uh, redemption, redemption, that's word. Uh, I actually last weekend went to a Christmas market and bought some homemade dog treats that are like the cutest things ever. So they're called um, gingerbread shepherds, but they're not actually German shepherd shaped. It's just like German shepherd, gingerbread shepherd. It works, right? Uh, and this is from Rebel Pug Gourmet Dog Treats uh, in Layton, Utah. And they're very cute. So it's made of oat flour, pumpkin, cinnamon, ginger, molasses, and eggs. And I love it. Hi, Zelly. So I don't know how 
she got these cookies to be so perfect but the it must be the type of flour that's used but you could see like ah almighty pluto underscore just followed <laughs> thank you almighty pluto sorry i freeze because i have the same sound for all my notifications so i'm like oh what did what happened what did someone do i should change the sounds up uh look i'm a beauty influencer now i think you can see it without but look how good the santa claus is right like look how sharp the lines are also i painted my nails green and except for my ring finger and so my nails are getting green screened out it's an illusion um and then there's a snowman of sorts here as well so I know my nails are actually you know what I think I will only paint my nails green from now on because it looks like galaxy nails um okay so but you redeemed you redeemed a a good boy so let's 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 feed some corgis this is like at a <laughs> look at Atticus's face <laughs> he's waiting he's like okay you showed off the treats enough can I please just have the cookie um okay so we're giving Atticus the, the Santa. He's such a gentle boy that he like won't really take the cookie. You have to kind of just cram it in his mouth. <laughs> Look at him. I should put a microphone. Can you hear the crunch? If so, my microphone's really good. But I should put like a special crunch. Crunch mic. That'll be my plan for the stream in the new year. Have a crunch mic. Complete opposite most dogs I know. Yes, Atticus is our shy and gentle boy who who is not a hungry, hungry hippo like the, like the rest of the pack. Um, so the corgi rules are, by the way, uh, if you're just joining us, almighty Pluto, my dogs are always under my desk anyway uh but they are not like trapped here by any means the door is open they can head out they can they could live their life right i don't try and keep them here i just set up a camera because they happen to be here most of the time anyway and they're pretty heckin cute so on that note let's uh play some chance of sonar so as i mentioned Besides going to Christmas markets and playing too much Lethal Company, um, I have been playing too much Lethal Company, which means that I'm actually going to struggle a little bit, I think, to get back into this game. Like, I think my brain, my brain's like, okay, we have Lethal Company controls locked and loaded. It's like, no brain, I don't want those controls. I want Chance of Sonar controls. So it might take me a minute to get back into it, but I've been very much enjoying Chance of Sonar. So, ugh. I will notice that I don't have my heart rate monitor. I have the eye tracking. <sighs> Do I tell you the real reason why I don't have the heart rate monitor? Yeah, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I okay here's okay I have two reasons <laughs> partially is because of what <laughs> brain is going from murder to investigator totally different vibes that's actually part of the reason I don't have my heart rate monitor hooked up is that it's just not really interesting um I guess I could get stressed out in chance of Sonar, and I think in the warrior level I did because there was that hide and seek mechanic but I don't it's not really this isn't really like a heart pounding game this game is great and it has a lot of thinking elements and I struggle to do a think aloud protocol in this game because it's so heavily taxing on the brain um but I didn't really get interesting data out of the heart rate monitor so I feel okay not using it I still have the eye tracker on because the eye tracker is pretty interesting to see what I'm reading and you know where I'm looking um the other the main reason the genuine reason I do not have the heart rate monitor on is very silly. Let me show you. I don't think I've ever shown the heart rate monitor on screen. Oh, I totally missed your chat, Thrakey. So many things to play, too. I apparently have 75 hours of games to play. Can't get much more 
games user research that a personal spreadsheet of games to play. That's very funny. I need to have a spreadsheet of games to play. You know what I have? Okay. Games user researchers might use spreadsheets. Academics used a post-it note on the monitor. Only 80s kids will remember. Okay. This is what my heart rate monitor looks like. This is a strap. And on the strap here, I should switch scenes. Hold on. You probably see it better if I... This is ending up being like a an educational stream, which is great. So, um, oh, you do that too. <laughs> the post-it notes. And then the post-it notes get entered into a spreadsheet. Uh, this is the Harry Monitor strap. It has this uh, leather. It's not really leather. It's like a plastic leather strip backing. I'm trying to figure out the words this is really cold okay so this is made of like elastic stretching material and you hook it around your rib cage with like an airplane kind of belt that goes like that right so this would be around my rib cage and then this is where the little transmitter sits so this plugs in here I have it unplugged when I store it so it doesn't drain the battery and then I use an app on my phone that um, translates the data from this device to uh, my stream so, um, this is fine. This is great. Except you have to put water on this shiny bit, uh, to increase the conductivity of the device on your skin to accurately measure your heart rate. And I should mention, this is a Polar H10. Is it called an H10? Yes. Polar H10. This is mostly used by runners and athletes to monitor their oxygen intake and their performance while doing exercise. It is also used by streamers. I use um, the Pulsoid app to use it for my stream. In the wintertime, it is deeply unpleasant to put this on. It's not painful. Okay, it's not painful. It's just you have to put water. You could put warm water, but the uh, like leathery feeling plasticky bit is just not going to get heated in time. So I don't want to put it on this morning because it's cold. <laughs> it's cold outside. Thank you, Pluto. It's cold outside and uh, I'm cold and I don't want to use it. And it's also it's not like if we're playing Lethal Company, I would totally on the heart rate monitor okay why not use a pulse oximeter uh for exercise um yeah maybe it is pleather i don't really know what the i presume that three a key i presume that there's like a it's a covering for some kind of network of sensors underneath um for the stream why not use a pulse oximeter uh Partially it has to do, if you know of a good app that for a pulse oximeter to embed in the stream, that's great. A lot of the athletic equipment uh, that we, or medical equipment that we use does not have an app which integrates well into streaming platforms, is my experience. I think that's getting better, and I think there's some potentially really interesting equipment out there. Um, I am also not, I don't think we can learn anything about my oxygen levels. Uh, my understanding is that unless you are changing your elevation or you're uh, ill or you're, I mean, I guess intense athletics might show a, di a dip in oxygen levels. But for the games I play and the things I do, I'm not getting that sweaty to, to see uh, an oxygen differential in my, in my bloodstream. That's, I mean... I don't think so. That's my, I'm not, I'm not that kind of doctor. I'm a PhD, not an MD, but my very basic understanding of how pulse oximeters work is that I would not see a great enough variant to be interesting, but, oh, pulse oximeters are cheap and measures heart rate. Yeah. It's about getting the data on the screen, which is shockingly difficult. <laughs> and I think also with uh, pulse oximeters, you might run into some PHI, some private health information. It's really interesting and I'm not opposed to it. I'm, I'm down to investigate if I can get one. But uh, once you start getting into uh, personal or private health information, then you have a bunch of laws which regulate app development for really sensible and good reasons. But I wonder if, like, what what's the biometric threshold? Like, what kind of data does your app collect that would necessitate, like, w w at what threshold do you trigger health 
information laws, you know? I almost hit delete because I'm not paying attention. <laughs> That's an interesting takeaway for lab plate testing for biometrics in the winter because it's cold. Yeah, um, you know, it could be that you could put a, you know what, if I, <laughs> this is not something you do in a professional lab, but I just realized I could just like sit on the <laughs> strap for a while and then get it warm and then put it on my body. Like there are ways to bring the plastic up to body temperature if I, planned in advance and I just have not done that I don't remember where we were so I know we got to this uh, we're with these bratty people so we're with the chosen ones and they are very judgmental and very classist and we got to the scene and then we shut the stream down because I was really hungry I remember being very hungry last time <laughs> I missed the second half of the stream last week, so I'm excited to see what you got done. It wasn't a lot. I, I progressed very slowly. Uh, we were in the... Not catacombs. The sewers, the underground. We were in the underground city for most of last stream. I got lost down there. I'm very confused. It's, it's basically a labyrinth. Uh, is my audio okay, by the way? I popped the levels down... Uh, let's see. Let's see what this person has to say. Okay, you want to ascend. Oh, that's right. That's right. We had gotten almost to the next level. But I had to stop. Uh, okay. Quick recap. We ran past some bullies that were like, you need... I'm starting to think that you need fire or you need a torch to ascend. So they, the bullies were like, oh, if you want something, you need to do something because I don't have the full translation. I maybe skipped over a part of the narrative and, and just got to this, this windmill. So we did the windmill puzzle. I was very scared. I fell. Uh, I got the torch and then the bully children laughed at me. I don't think they were actually children, but they were, they were, they struck me as mean teenagers. <laughs> they, uh, were like, oh, you fool. That's not really the torch that you need. So I have this torch in my inventory, which I'm guessing from the conversation I'm having with this person you need a torch or you need fire in order to get to the next level of the ascended. Oh yeah, that underground was difficult. I had to map it on paper. Three Aki, seriously? You mapped it on paper? You're great. That's awesome. I, despite my post-it notes, I, I could never. <laughs> uh, you know what would be helpful? Let's go through and see which translations I have not locked in, which No, these are ones I have done. Okay. Oh, that's right. So we did the directions. We did the compass directions, but we don't yet have a word for compass. I don't think. Is this compass? No. Okay. We don't know that. Uh, also on this playthrough, I have been putting butts if I don't know the word, which is great and very funny. And it, it leads to a lot of great comedy. However, it is not great when I'm trying to remember what that word was on. Okay, let's talk to this person. <laughs> the sewers were hella confusing. It was just simple lines. You're drawing or the sewer map. So my issue, Thraiki, is simple lines indeed but having the spatial awareness and like being able to differentiate like okay went left right left but some of them seem to overlap like there were all of it was underground but there were two levels underground it would it just broke my brain uh do you have all the words it looks like you do i <laughs> no that's clearly butts <laughs> Excellent map. My auto sensor is very picky, Epsilon, and I think it's probably unfairly censoring you. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't censor butts, to be honest. Uh, you want to ascend? You're an idiot. All right. 
that that was rude for no reason. Cool. We've been here before. Right, this is the compass directions. So this was maybe a Rosetta Stone of sorts. Probably not, it was probably just compass. But we came here, this is where we first entered. So maybe I haven't progressed as much as I thought I did. Okay, right, this is the direction we went last time. And then we went underground and explored, and then we went this way and completed the windmill puzzle. We have not yet gone in this direction. So maybe in order to unlock the word for compass, we go in this <laughs> Okay. So that way to the pagoda, that way to the windmill, that way to bus. Perfect. It's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Oh, well, great. Uh, 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 uh. This is maybe good. Okay, we know Pagoda, and that looks like a Pagoda. We know, oops, we know Windmill. This is Butts, but Butts likely corresponds to the Colosseum. Uh, and then this looks like nature. Now I'm going to just, okay. I thought this was, okay. <laughs> I had this as two. So like to the pagoda, cause there were signs that showed this and then pagoda, but this also makes sense. So this is a path, like the pagoda path. That's not a pagoda at all. It's an agora. That's not butts at all. It's theater. Ah, oh, the windmill. <laughs> I literally got one out of four words correct. Well, shucks. Dang it. Okay. All right. That's fine. We, we've got time. We can wait. All right. Uh... These are chosen ones, but they seem to be intoxicated, so maybe they'll be nice to me? Okay, so there's a word I don't know, which I thought was helpful. Us help, helpful we are, I guess. Oh. Helpful I love. Well, it's probably not helpful, is it? Let's use context clues and let's say that this is drunk. Didn't we have... No, we didn't have a word for drunk before. There was a word I thought was drunk, but it was idiot. Okay. I don't think we have the puzzle or the exam yet for that word okay okay that's fine let's keep moving uh i'm guessing this person's gonna prevent me from going in the theater do you like comedy oops Wait, 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 I can't, okay. Well, I can't respond to their question, but I can maybe give them a token. Oh yeah, theater comedy. Let's try that. Oh. To the theater you go. All right. Could I go down there though? I guess not. Oh. Uh, we want to ascend. Wait, is this the theater or is this? <laughs> is this art cinema? Is this part of the experience? <laughs> I 
oh, that sucks. So the chosen ones wanted to ascend, so they got to use the lift, but the lift does not operate without someone pulling it. So the servants have to take the stairs. Okay, so I'm having to take the stairs like the servant. But I did pull the elevator back down so that there's no way for those chosen ones to go back down. They're going to have to walk with the rest of us because I'm petty. Okay, so that was not part of the theater experience. <laughs> that was just the elevator. Uh, there are a bunch of people here. Can I talk to any of them? I cannot. I cannot go backstage. Presumably... have to wait okay cool all right let's watch a theatra oh. Oh. the path the idiot bard sought to ascend the idiot bard sought oh that's the idiot oh. bard the saw he found south go past The instrument he found, West, go past. Oh. The fire he found, North, go past. Oh. So we're supposed to go north. Uh, compass he found, East. Oh. I think I know the symbol for compass. Uh, south. There's a weapon in the south. Okay. What is this supposed to be teaching me? I hope I can watch this again. Uh, the path the idiot bard found in the south? Oh. Idiot bard scary find? I don't know about that translation, but I mean, it kind of works. So it's not in the south. Well, you know what? We know the word for compass, so that's something. Um, let's go back here. And it was this one. Okay, so this must be wrong. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh... Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt. I must have confused. Like, I'm pretty sure it's either I flip north, south, or east, west. So, because this is definitely a compass. I should probably change. Oh, bloop. should change that. Since we now know it's not help, it's compass. That was confirmed. That crumpled statue might help, because there were definitely directions on there. But... Oh, I have a compass. I actually have a compass in my possession. So if the fire was in the north, I could go to those locations and see like what the place up. Or I could just go here. Oh, that's a lot of text. Uh, something plural. Oh, this is the script for the idiot bard. Okay. To send the idiot bard sought the path he sought, he saw, he found, he went south and found an instrument. I think that's true. I think I came from the south. So then he went west and he found fire. I That's okay. Mm -mm. That's where I messed up because I'm pretty sure these are swapped. <laughs> That's where I got the fire object, though. It was to the east. You know what? We could also brute force it. Why 
Why is this wrong? Did I just like... Okay. Maybe I just screwed them all up. Okay, we're gonna start over. Um... Okay, maybe this, uh, the saw was to the west, right? Maybe. <laughs> I'm trying to remember a week ago, so this might not be good. Okay, uh, right, so he found the saw west, the instrument... Where did we find an instrument? That was south. Okay. Let's let's this might work. This might work. The fire I think was the east, right? Okay, I'm pretty sure the fire was the east. Oh, crap. I hit the wrong button. No. Ah, no, no, no. Let's go back. Let's go back. For some reason, this is easier for me. No. Oh, I have a bunch of stuff. Dang it. Okay. Well, I, sure, I guess. This is fine. Maybe this is easier. Uh, so, north is actually east. This is really confusing. And then by process of elimination, the last one should be... Duh! <laughs> uh, okay. I clearly goofed up real bad with this one and it's really frustrating because it's just cardinal directions so I mean I could brute force it right right I don't think I can't brute force it. Okay, I'll look at, I'll, I'll take chat's advice and I'll go look at the statue. Um, what else did I want to do? We had a new, maybe it's not drunk, maybe it's friends. We have a new quiz to take. Uh, we think that means scary, oops. And then this is script or something. Oh, book, okay. <laughs> why do I keep thinking this game is <laughs> what's it say about me that every time there's someone like being affectionate or silly I'm like drunk just read into it as drunk oh monster okay so is there a monster that we're gonna fight I don't like how frequently monster appears in this discussion oh everyone's gone now okay Is this, like, do I get to watch it again? Are the actors just here permanently? Okay. Yeah. It's just for me to watch it again. I don't need to watch it again. I do appreciate that the game lets me skip. Let me watch it again, and then I can skip watching it again. That's actually super nice. Ah! There were stairs? Okay. Thank you, Zelly. Although... If it's just a shortcut to get... Oh, there it is, right here. I thought I came from this direction. But you're right. This might just be a shortcut. It's not a shortcut. Interesting. Uh, what was the button to look at interactables? It was shift, right? Okay. I got this thing. But I still don't understand what it's for. But I'm going to click on it. Because I think it's like a waypoint. Right. 
So I have like, what, four more levels to go? Or maybe I, it looks like I missed one on the first level. Why is there a leak? That seems significant. All right, I'm gonna pull this lever. So why wouldn't I? Oh crap, no, no, I wanna go back. I want to go through this door. Ooh, what did I just unlock? There's a way up. Okay. Where's this take me, I wonder? Oh god, why? Um, is there something under the theater that I'm missing? Oh, we've been here. This is where I saw the butts symbol. But I don't know that I can do anything because I've already solved this puzzle, right? It seems like I need to... Oh, wait, I didn't have this before this puzzle. No, okay. <laughs> well... I do have a compass and it does work. So let's go up and let's see if we can figure out why my corgi's red. You changed the lighting. Oops, I shut it off. There we go. The corgi sometimes uh, hit the light and then it changes colors. <laughs> Although for Halloween, it was pretty good to have a spooky corgi. It's a path to the wind. Mm -hmm. Like, how do I get up there? Did your map cover that? Three A key? You can find the directions with just the compass, Ashley, before it's around it. <laughs> but I have to know which way is north. Am I doing something really goofy? Because I can spin it. So I have to... Like, there's no indication of what's north. Do I not know how compasses work? Now you're making me doubt myself. Am I really gonna Google how compasses work? I know the red needle points north, but it can be any symbol. Like that, so is that north? Cause then, well that could be north. I'm scared now. I'm Googling it. Oh, just go to the statue. Okay. Okay, I found a Reddit post. I should pull this up on my screen. It's unexplained to me like I'm five, which is one of my favorite subreddits. Uh, how do compasses work? Like, I know they react to the Earth's magnetic field, but how does it know which way is which? I'm not laughing. I'm laughing at myself because this is literally my question. <laughs> also, if someone was standing exactly opposite to me on the other side of the world, is my north and their north the same? This is a legit question. Um, I do like the comment. Compasses don't know where they're going. They just point to north. And the user uses that to know which way they're heading. And yes and no to your last question. Each area has its own 
uh, declination. If your compass's declination is set to zero, it reads magnetic north, which is the direction that it points to as it aligns with the Earth's magnetic fields. This doesn't necessarily point you to the most northward part of the Earth. When you adjust the de uh, declination to whatever area you're in, then it reads true north, which is a universal point anywhere in the world. If your compass doesn't have a declination adjustment, then you just have to account for declination mentally when you're using the compass. Well, that's my issue. Okay. <laughs> well, there we go. We learned something. It is the science stream. Um... I don't think this is the fastest way to leave. I think I'm gonna go back to the theater and leave out the door we saw before I came down here. <sighs> Just this way? I don't think it's this way anymore. Oh, I think I'm lost again. I hate the underground portion. This looks familiar, but <laughs> I think this is the dead end, right? Okay, so then I go this way. Yes, okay, good. This is, I'm 99% certain this is not the most efficient way to go where we're going, but it got us above ground and that is the important thing. And from here, I can skedaddle back to the town center where I think the broken compass is. I was just about to break out my map. I am so excited that you kept that map. I think you should post a picture of it in the Discord. Huzzah! Okay, so <laughs> we know that this is north, which I had written this south. So, <laughs> strong start. Okay, so, oops. If we know that this is north, then this has to be south. And then that would be west, and that would be east. So it's, I just have to change this one to south. It was this one, right? And then I have to go back in here. See, I'm not dumb. I need to know. <laughs> Oh, chat, I appreciate your celebration. <laughs> and look at that, we completed the translation of the Bard's language. We did it. Needing to know North was clutch. <laughs> we did it, team. Okay. Well, now that we figured this out, though, where do we... So the theater was helpful in learning. Something, what was the theater helpful for? <laughs> yes, yeah, so they keep calling me dumb for wanting to ascend. That seems like a mini Babel Tower. Aww. Maybe I go this way? Uh. I do have a compass, so I can ascend. It must be here, right? Way up. <gasps> a new puzzle. 
I like the puzzle noise because it reminds me of Laura Croft. Okay, well that's me. That's very clearly me. There's monster and I need this guy. Which I have. Right. Oh, okay. What a weird thing to do. What I mean by that is if this culture and civilization has this magical device that oh, well, fire I, I, okay you know what fire is magic i'm gonna take a stand so if they have this device that has fire which scares the monster away why would they put a representation of it above a windmill that you need to unlock a door but it's not even actually fire it makes for a really good puzzle but the ludo narrative is breaking down is all i'm saying Hi, Kultima! This is Chance of Sonar. And whenever I say that because of my accent, it sounds like I'm saying chance, like there's a chance this might happen, but I'm saying chant. <laughs> Overemphasizing the T. Like, uh, like a sing song ritual chant. American English is great. Um. Oh, they told us about this. The prophecy foretold this. Okay, what was the prophecy? Let's go back and read it. Because one direction, there is a monster. And I don't think I'm supposed to fight the monster. Although, I really like Doom and I really want to fight the monster. Okay, so I found a saw. Oh, I have to use the compass too. They told me I needed the compass. Okay, so I found the saw. That was the first thing. And then the bard goes west. They definitely prioritize gameplay over story. You know what, though? That's fine. Because the gameplay is really good. So I'm supportive of this. Uh, we need to go west. So let me pull out my compass. I'm facing south. So I need to go that way oh no wrong way no eh, go back <sighs> I'm gonna double check this because one way there's a monster so I don't wait I'm facing east what the heck maybe hey stream maybe I don't know how to use a Okay, I have other talents. Um, I went to summer camp and we were given compasses and then we had to do a scavenger hunt and I completed my scavenger hunt. And as far as I know, I got 100% on it. So... <laughs> now, let's see. When was that summer camp? I believe it was in 1998. <laughs> it's been a minute, okay? Uh, all right, we're always going to, which direction am I facing is the question. Cause I don't like the fact that you can spin the compass cause it doesn't tell me what direction I'm facing as a character. Okay. So now I have it lined up so that the compass needle is pointing north, but what direction am I facing is my question. Should we just find the monster? <sighs> Let's just go find the monster, it's fine. We'll just go explore. Oh wait, did we accidentally go the right direction? <laughs> oh yeah, so I went west and found the instrument, that's great. Uh, and then I go north and I find the fire, which, I don't know, I'm not even gonna use the compass, it's fine, we're gonna go this way. Look, there's the fire. See, it works. It works. This is the game only lets me go so many places. Uh, and then after we found the fire, I go south and then, oh, right. I have to find the weapon. So that's important. I don't want to go to the monster before I have the weapon. Or do I? It's fine. I can fight them with my bare hands. It's fine. 
<laughs> Divine luck. I'm finding the exit very easy, so that's good. I'm pretty sure this is a monster. No, good. So I think whenever I see the light pink, that means that that's the exit. Nope, because that was dark. Oh God, I do have to do the puzzle, don't I? Son of a... All right, hold on. I also need to um, take a break to... Sorry, it's gross. I have to blow my nose. I know, it's gross. I have a kid in daycare. I'm sick all the time. Um, so I'm going to roll an ad break and I'm going to put my BRB screen on, learn how to use a compass, and I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, if you pick the wrong direction at any point, it resets you to the exit. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, I'm going to think about my sins for a second here and roll ads. Corgi's asleep. Corgi's totally passed out. <clears throat> Corgi woke up when I said Corgi's passed out. Okay. All right. So I have to, you know, um, they keep talking about an idiot bard, but the Irish have a phrase that God blesses drunks and fools. And I think that I'm not the former but I am the latter so I think that uh, I could could probably do this without um, but let's let's try it let's try to do the game let's try and play the game the way that the game wants to be played okay so north uh, I need to go west from here right So I found the saw, then I go west, and that's where I find the instrument. Okay, great. And west is this way. Nope. Oh, why would you do that? Wait, I'm turned around now. How did I get to the saw from this angle? Okay, that's still pouring north. Okay, so I need to go this way. Perfect. Look at that, it worked. Okay, so uh, then I find the instrument. Now I need to go north. So let's look at the compass. So I'm gonna go left. Go on, go left, go left. Uh, and then we found the fire. That's great. So now you go east. Find the compass, but I already have a compass. That's fine. Okay. Oh, gotta redo this guy. All right, so it's north. Uh, I need to go that way. Great, I found the compass. We're nailing it. Uh, and then I go south to find the weapon. And this is important because I don't want to die. Ooh, 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 I, ooh. Okay. It did say west, right? I can't hold two ideas in my... No, it was south? Okay, good. I cannot hold two ideas in my head at once. I'm so sorry. Uh, south for the weapon. So I'm going that way. Nope, no, no. Don't go. Yep. That, oop, that. Nope. Eat that. Okay. I was nervous that I'm not going in a linear or cardinal direction enough for the game. So, okay, I found the weapon. Then I go west and I find the path. Okay. 
Let's find West. So this way. Look at that. We did it. There's a bone. And I got an achievement. I reached the go. Oh, okay. Well, this is different. <laughs> We're in the mines. Oh, that's a monster. I should have had my heart rate monitor on. Knew it. But our rat friends are back, which is great. I'm actually going to start holding shift to see if any of these doors are interactable. That's a monster. Hmm. It's like the Bracken. Can we follow you? Why? Why would you gesture for me to follow? And then eat me. I guess I, yeah, I guess I see that now. I guess I see why you would do that. Uh, again. Playing so much Doom. I have no fear of monsters. The monsters should be afraid of me. Oh, can it not go into the light? Is that the idea? Interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't go into the light. Ha. Ah. Well sucks for you. The best weapon. A sunscreen. <laughs> you switched IP and ended up in Moria. It's hammer time. They call it a mine. Um, hmm. We suddenly switched to a stealth mechanic. In addition to the light mechanic, that's really cool. I've seen both of these mechanics used before, but I've never seen them used together, which doesn't mean it hasn't been. It just means that I don't have that substrate. So there are, mm, let me hold shift. So there's a rock pile where I can do a distraction. Now, why would I want to pull these levers? What would that get me? Uh, okay. Well, I think I am was starting off to go in the wrong direction. I think I actually want to go here. And past puzzles have taught me that enemy... Uh, the AI uh, detection is based on line of sight. So, I should be fine. And what they've done here is essentially built a box of rocks in this kind of square formation. I knew I had to wait. I almost went. So, I think the cone of vision is such that I wouldn't have been able to go. Let's see where this person, how this person turns around. Okay, I should be fine. The question I have is, why do I need the rock mechanic? Because when the monster's back is turned, I could easily make it there. Unless... This is to trap the monster somewhere? I'm not sure I understand what this level's asking me to do. I immediately went to the rock pile because that's a mechanic we've used before. But, did I throw it? How am I supposed to throw it? Can I just throw it at the creature? Can I blind to the creature temporarily? No. Okay. I'm like expending rocks, but it's not. 
not doing anything. So. Epsilon. Epsilon, you got it. Uh, what else is in that color? This thing. Oh god, why would you do that, you mad lad? No, hide. Okay. Well. I, I gotta say, I love the save places in this game. So I guess I'm supposed to use a rock to hit something. And I thought it was to hit this, but that doesn't seem to do anything. So then I thought it was to hit the lever. That also doesn't seem to do anything. Is it to hit this lever? I mean, I have to have a pretty good arm to hit that bar. Uh, is it supposed to hit this? Oh, maybe. Okay. I'm impressed, as I did not think I could throw that bar. We got it now. It's fine. Okay. I gotta be quicker. Oh, run, 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 Ha-ha! Look at that. We got it. Now, I didn't actually explore in there, so I'm not... Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I was supposed to explore there and then do this. But I appreciate it, your um, help, Epsilon. <sighs> or maybe that room was all in shadows. Oh my goodness. Uh, monster's coming. Hurry. No, there's no time. Why is my character moving so slow? Oh my goodness. Why would you do that? You silly, silly character. <sighs> this, this, this character has a death wish. There's, why are you taking your sweet time? I've never seen a main character so unhurried. Are we fully in the next level? Have we fully ascended? Interesting. Good morning, Jeffrey. Thanks for tuning in. Are you at work again? Look, they're a translator, not an adventure. <laughs> oh, we are in the next level. Okay, well, that's good because we found a new language. Let's so go to 11. Oop, oop, ah. Okay, so there seems to be an order, and maybe this is teaching me numbers. I don't think we've had numbers in the game before, so this might be a new concept. Okay, so one, two. I should probably uh, <coughs> start filling this in, huh? Uh, was this one? No, that was not one. Okay. This one is one. And then that one's two. Oh, you just woke up. Nice. I wish I had just woken up. <laughs> Got up at seven. It's too early. Yeah, that was two. Uh, now we have to figure out which one is three. So these two are not labeled. So I'm guessing that those are red herrings. Um, now let's use some logic. We had one stick for one. We had two sticks for two. A triangle has three sides. So I'm going to go ahead and guess this one. Oh, oh nice. Look at that logic. So this one is three. And then this 
seems more complete than this one. So I'm going to say that this is four. Nice. And then this one would be five. Come on, turn. There we go. We did it. <laughs> I should be happier about that. Oops. Ah. I went in order like a fool. We did it. This is exciting. This is the first time we've been introduced to numbers. Awesome. Blue herrings. Oh, should I have gone there? Oh, no, it's too late. I didn't see that there was a door there. Or is that where I came in? There were stairs. I could have explored more. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, this is strange. This is like the, uh, like a mad scientist laboratory or something. But I cannot interact with those doors. I can interact with this poster. I want to talk to people. There are four ways out from that area and I only found one of them. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's really interesting. I wonder if that's in case people get stuck. Oh, it's a map. Okay, so the elevator doesn't go into the basement, but there's, I don't know, stuff. You are here, we're on the first floor. That's the second floor. There are stairs and a lift. I don't know what any of those symbols mean, but this is a map, that's cool. Let's talk to these scary creatures. Um, okay. Probably a greeting, like, I greet you. I... Something, something. I love butts. That's so many symbols! Okay, well, we think this is I. And we think this is greeting. And the rest. <laughs> okay, so the other person doesn't talk. All right. Uh, let's see what's over here, I guess. Yeah, there were a lot of butts. In fact, there were too many butts to comment on. Uh, science? Uh... Pro uh, probably a lab. Lab. And then, um, this way. That's two words, but. Alright. No? Something is better than nothing, right? This way to the second floor. This way to the first floor. Okay. Uh, that, mm, mm, maybe it's exit? Because that doesn't make sense. This way to the first floor, but there's stairs. They're going up, not down. Hmm. So you remember how I didn't like the sewers? <laughs> there are a lot of exits. This is a very big level. Okay, yeah, let's just cover up a sign. Um, this is maybe a mistake. Oh, <gasps> monster. Uh, pfft, monster? Like, <sighs> afraid of light?
I can't go that way. I know I can't go that way, but I wanted to click on it anyway to show you all that I'm brave. Look, I may have trouble using a compass, but my heart's in the right place. Is that what counts? Uh, one, two, three. Okay, so this is all the numbers, right? Well, this is some unit of measurement, right? So this is a centimeter or a millimeter, and that's a centimeter, or this is an uh, inch, and that's a foot. Something like that. There's some kind of unit of measurement going on. Oh, we didn't. Okay. I thought we would have gotten more symbols. We've not. Right. If by all you mean the first 20. Oh, wow. That's so many. Uh, you know what? Let's push some buttons. Oh, it rotates. Okay. Sure. I don't think I have the uh, equipment, so to speak, to do this. So that's seven. That's eight. The hell does that mean? Is this a, like a calculator? I was gonna call it an addition machine. <laughs> but but that's a calculator. <laughs> um, hmm. This seems like it should glow if I've done this well. And I, so I don't think I've done it well. I think I need more information for this addition machine. <laughs> Oh, but I'm learning more numbers. Hmm. I sure do wish these numbers were following on from there. Are these numbers? These are. Because this is a number. Uh, uh, what is this a symbol for? Like a sum? Okay, hold on. Can I look at this again? Okay, so that one's six. Uh, right? Yeah, that was six. So, uh, wait, this one's seven. That one's eight. Nine. Zero. That one is zero. Okay. Cool. Uh, so in this, now that's a symbol. Yeah, in this addition machine. <laughs> What am I trying to accomplish? Surely, I think I think I need more. I need more, right? It's probably like a balancing puzzle, where I have to make this add up to like. I I have to make them balance to zero, right? Something like that. Oops. How high does this go? Oh, it goes to zero. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. So if I... I'm sure I'm wasting time. So why am I still here if I'm wasting time? Because this is fun and intriguing. And some brain fold is getting scratched. Okay, so this is one. One, zero, zero, zero. Or is this a thousand? Oops. I keep clicking the number instead of the dial. Okay, so let's try 
a thousand plus a thousand, maybe? Okay, so this, my theory works out. So in order for it to signal 2,000, it's a symbol for two, but rotated 180 degrees. Interesting. And then, oh God, I keep looking on the number. It's annoying. Okay, so then this should be 1,000. So it should be the symbol flipped. Yes. Interesting. It's not a waste of time. I mean, video games are a waste of time. So if we really want to start thinking about how I'm spending my day. <laughs> All of this technically is a waste of time. You're right, Jeffrey. Oh, good lord. Uh, math lab. That's what I'm going to say this is. Clearly doing some kind of equations. Although, I will say, none of my math labs have ever had the cool beakers bubbling away. I kind of like that. Oh crap, we went that way. Go up or down. I'm gonna go up. There better not be a locked door. Okay, so let's talk about this in terms of Theodore Adorno's The Culture Industry. I'm teasing. This is just such a, a tone shift from the garden with the artists and the comedians and the pretty people. Like, why can't the scientists also be pretty? Uh, this is a mess hall, so this is food. Oh, it's like a mouth with a fork and a little morsel. Nice. Uh, there's something about meal times, right? So meal time at four? I mean, clearly they're eating three meals a day. Hmm. They're kind of early though, right? They're lining up at two to eat at four. Interesting, that arm is moving. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, math lab or math lab? It's at four o'clock. That's pretty good. Uh, all right, I don't know what they're trying to tell me besides that they eat at four. Is there something I can do there? I think it's either food or it's to eat, right? Food at four, I guess? Uh, I mean, this seems like a group of people that have concepts that we've not yet uncovered anywhere else in the game. Things like time and routine and math. We haven't seen, we, like, none of the other levels even had numbers. So, let's talk to this guy. There's the lift. And a map. Ugh. I something at seven, I something at nine. Uh, wake up? I mean, I don't know why you would tell a stranger what time you wake up and what time you go to bed, but. Waking up at seven, going to bed at nine seems reasonable. Okay, thanks for the information, stranger. Okay, are we back to the starting zone? Not the starting zone, but the main foyer. I think we are. <gasps> A book lab. <laughs> right? It's books. A library. Building. Maybe it's not lab. Maybe it's building. Maybe we're on a university campus. 
book lab. I'm going to keep calling it a book lab in real life, actually, as well. <laughs> and you can't stop me. And I'll have you know. I have to reach down past the corgi. Pet the corgi. It's a big corgi. Okay. I went to the book lab. And I got this book. Uh, it is Fake Geek Girls, Fandom, Gender, and the Convergence Culture Industry by Suzanne Scott. Uh, my friend Jess recommended I read this book, so I went to the library. You can tell. You can tell that this is a library book because the pages have the University of Utah stamp on it. And there's the cool call number, the Dewey Decimal System, show where it was cataloged. The library. The library. The library. That's a really good pun. Uh, artist not noticing time fits with my <laughs> observations. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yes, there's no time on the... And why would there be? Because the garden level is lovely. I do not like the aesthetics of this lab level. Am I wearing a trans dice t-shirt? I am! Oh, my elbow cracked. Oh, my body's old. Uh, this is a D20 shirt with the trans pride flag on it. Because I thought it was cute. Okay, this says two and there's money. That's strange though, because there, <laughs> now, <laughs> I'm not a professor of mathematics. <laughs> However, <laughs> I can tell you that there are more than two coins here. There's two there, but there's the stack of six. So there's eight coins, which is more than two. Is there something going on? This is a different type of puzzle. This is not a simple addition puzzle. A stamp of the book lab. <laughs> there's sideways affinity coins. Oh, thank you. I like this shirt. I think it's cute, too. Okay, uh, there's a ring. It's labeled as one. I'm still reading Babel by R.F. Kong, by the way. And um, this has already given me Babel vibes for a billion reasons. But the idea of having wealth and riches and the book lab, the library. Uh is very much in line with that book. Oh, okay. I'm guessing these are the floors and that is the subject matter. So, hmm. Is there a way to figure out what subjects are here? Using what I know. That's the one ring. <gasps> I like that crossover. Uh, knowing what I know about book labs, there's probably a subject per floor, but we are on the second floor from the looks of it. So light or fire, we have that symbol already. That seems to be correct. And then we have a new symbol that we haven't seen before. This looks like a rocket or a bomb or a machine. I'm going to try to go for the most generic word, which would be device. A light device. Looks like a lighter. which I could use to scare the monster away. Okay, so we're maybe on the engineering floor? <laughs> Something sleep book. I hope that translation's right. Uh, I don't know. 
You, maybe? You sleep bug? So where did we get sleep from? We got sleep from a conversation where this random guy was like, I go to bed at this time. I wake up at this time. Uh, so maybe sleep is not correct. Maybe they were saying I read at this time. Maybe? Maybe. All right, what's over here? I'm going to hold that in my head. Maybe sleep is incorrect. Uh, okay. Well, it's probably not at. It's probably not at. Huh. So you put something in here. Maybe on. So step one is you turn on the machine. Let's try that. Okay, step one, you turn the machine on. Step two, you put in the ingredients. I don't think we know what those are. Uh, step three, you check the fuel monitor step four you push the button so are these elements do we think like air water fire something like that I'm not sure I'm not sure but I think so okay so I think that this was the engineering floor nope that's a is that where we came in? I'm trying to get to the first floor of the, lab, of the book lab. Because look, there's a downstairs. So how do I get there? That's a window. Um, hmm. Are we truly on the first floor? Are we... Well, that doesn't make sense then if this is like engineering because then it was like put things into the machine you can't put like engineering as a concept of the machine but I'm guessing it's the second floor and I'm gonna say that that symbol is engineering Okay. There was an elevator. Right? Maybe not. No, I'm not done with the book lab. I guess I could have gone down the stairs. It feels like the stairs I just came up. Like that. What is this? Can I go in here? Oh, a puzzle of sorts. Okay. Why would I find a piece like that? Okay. Well, I don't have one in my inventory and I'm unable to collect the ones off the ground because they seem to be spent. So I need to find Oh boy, this is the machine that you have to put engineering in, huh? Uh, I have no engineering to give you. Um, uh, that's a giant rug. I feel like I had instructions for this machine. Oh, this machine makes the little key that I need for that door. Okay. So this is easy. This is great. All I need to do is find some engineering to put to the machine. Per Mayhaps I will find this on a different level where the engineering lab is. Oh, that just takes me down. I can't go up. No. Uh, was there 
other stuff to do down here? Maybe we just didn't even explore this level. Uh, what if you feed engineers into it? Pick up some engineering, easy. <laughs> okay, Jeffrey, we're gonna combine your idea with Sally's idea and we're gonna pick up some engineers. That machine eats engineers. Um, I already went that way, so I'm gonna go this way. This map is huge. Oh no, those are none of the symbols I know. There's so many puzzle pieces. I am very overwhelmed right now. Um, okay, so I have to get a card to put in there. That's, I, I don't need to know the language to read that. That's probably not a good idea. I think the symbols that I do not yet know are referencing some sort of material. I'm going to say this is materials engineering. I don't think that's, this seems more like a dig site, but I mean, isn't that materials engineering? Ah, I need a card. Okay, but I bet this is where I go to get the materials to put in the machine to make the key. Oh, this is a really big stairwell. This tower is a whole little ecosystem, huh? record I do not consider myself an engineer. You're safe. We won't feed you into the machine. Oh, this is where the library stairs went. So is this floor one? So I think we were on the second floor. No. We were on the first floor. But we, we discovered two things. So number one, I think that puzzle's correct. I think I understand the puzzle. I don't have the key to the puzzle, but I understand it. And two, there was a, a stairwell, so I could get up to another level in the library, which is a win. Uh, okay. Is this, what is this? Okay, we have, the engineers and we grind up their bones to make energy and then that energy fuels science and culture right I don't think that word means greeting anymore <laughs> I think that I think that gent was trying to tell me that they're scientist so I'm gonna change this to scientist Uh, I don't think that means lab. I think that means person. Because the circle means zero. So a circle with a pin in it is, I don't know. Uh, I mean... culture person this this is a symbol for three right or like three thousand I don't know okay let's whatever we'll say culture what was their actual name they were called something they weren't called the ascendant they were called the the chosen ones Okay, and then this probably means that they're buddies. So that's like a chosen one and that's a scientist, right? Buddies. Bards. Yes, that's right. They were called bards. I don't know. I'm grasping at straws here. Uh, the greeting lab where they <laughs> perfect the best greetings. 
seems possible. <laughs> there are a lot of labs. I mean, we established that this is like a university, right? There are a lot of labs. A ton of labs. The book lab. Uh, I don't think any of this is right. Um, well, there's still a first floor that we haven't been to, so this this could be right. Is this like uh, like culture? Is this languages and culture? Before I forget, I'm gonna write down culture for the symbol culture. Who knows? What is this symbol? <laughs> something person device, something. Okay. Oh, you want me to solve now for this? Okay. Well, they are people. And we have uh scientist. Oops. Scientist and uh the the cultured Um, buddies, book, gate. I think that maybe the top floor is where we go to meet the ascended ones. I'm so desperate to give you tips sometimes, but you're figuring it out. She's doing great. And also perhaps entirely wrong, but we're not going to tell her that. I think that I need to click things. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, 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 mm. Damn. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me look at this picture. Hmm, okay. One of these has to be gate, right? And the other one has to be like the angel people, right? Uh, ah, crap. Okay, I need to just explore more. It'll come, it'll come in time. Can't rush it. Can't rush feeling. the hell does this mean? The third artifact or something? The cup? Those um, display cases are perhaps unintentionally red herrings. Do we talk to this guy? Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, Jeffrey, I think I'm seeing what you said about being entirely wrong. I wake up book culture person. <laughs> yes, I too wake up book culture person. <laughs> if I could role play this, my character would be like, I too book culture person. And then, like, shove a book in their face and be like, I read this. And they're like, you, <laughs> you did not say any of the words right. So I do not think you're reading a book in our language. But, but good for you for trying. I'm giving the corgi the book. I don't have space in my desk. So <laughs> my books are on my floor. Sorry, library. That's not a fine, right? 
I'm sure everyone keeps library books on the floor. Uh, what is this? A woke book lab? <laughs> Sorry, I'd forgotten that we called it a book lab, and, uh, <laughs> and I'm re entertained by that. What do the glyphs you have means plural? <laughs> Uh, which one will help you solve the others in some context? Oh god, why? The plural ones throw me. <sighs> oh boy, which one's plural, huh? Oh. Well, it can't be any of the triangle ones. The triangle ones are definitely like topics or things or something. Um, it's got to be one of these. It's got to be this guy. The one I thought was person. That's got to be plural. The plural uh, glyphs always throw me because that's not something I am accustomed to. So let's try this as plural. Thank you for the tip. Wow, well, I don't know if that helps us because this doesn't. I mean, that could, that that could be right, right? Because there's there's two people, so then it's plural. Good about this? Crap, okay. Is it not buddies? Is that plural? <laughs> is this actually people and this is plural, but I've called it buddies? Okay. Look at the genealogy chart again. This is a genealogy chart? Oh God, I'm even more confused. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, scientists, no. Okay, so there's like a stick with some symbols and this one seems to mean scientist. Buddies is fine, okay. <laughs> Buddies, plural, which is already plural. So that's great. Uh, and then culture has the stick with some lines. So then the angel, are these angels, they, look, they don't look like angels though. But presumably it has triangle stick and lines. Um. I mean, that's monster, and this is like the inverse of monster. It has to be that. My brain is working very hard right now. Uh, look at the mural again. Okay, 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 okay. I'm clearly missing something. Uh, so this has to be angels, I think. Plural something I, I think that's device but maybe it's not device 
And then this is, maybe this is door? This is the gate? Okay. Yeah, buddy, you yeah. know, buddies. Pretty close. Bard, alchemist. Did not have those words. We got book. So we got the book lab part right. <gasps> A fairy! Oh, the fairies, plural. Maybe that's not device, maybe that's open? Is it open or is it, are the powers? Is it powers, the door? Fairies power the door. Maybe. Maybe. Also knowing plural will help. Also thanks Epsilon for the tint. Uh, knowing plural will help with a lot of other conversations and signs you've seen. Do another lap. All right. <gasps> a special room. This one does take a while and you've only just started the level. Ah. Okay. A rock. That is slightly interesting because. Oh shit. Which one of these is rock? Um, I mean, the other display cases had jewelry, like really expensive stuff and then this one has a rock so this must be a really significant rock this must be a very valuable rock um oh we have a lot that i haven't filled in i don't know if i ring treasure it's usually a treasure no of course not oh boy I knew another lap, but also I have more stuff to read and a hat so I could pretend to be a scientist. That's it. <laughs> I can't even mouse over anything. Okay. Well. Are you not even gonna take notes? Do I need to memorize that? Is that important later? This way. This way something, what? What does this mean? Ah, okay. I'm taking notes on this, but I don't know what it means. Okay, these are numbers, Never mind. Calm down, calm down. Uh, that is five, that is three. Nine. Yeah, five, three, nine. Is that a code for something? Five, three, nine, five, three, nine. What would that be a code for? <gasps> Is it code for this? I'm so confused. Did I skip two portals somehow? Oh. Huh. I skipped three. I don't even know where those three are. Also, why are they saying chosen one coming to the fortress?
Am I supposed to respond to them? Like, I have room to... I think I messed up. Don't stress about the ones you missed. But I missed a lot. Uh, is this still the book place? Do I go here? To go to the ground level? What is this? There's so much going on. Oh, there was a puzzle like that before. I didn't have the trinket to use. Well, let's try the book lab. This is the book lab. Oh, this is the ground floor of the book lab? Have we been down here? Yes, we have. Okay, because that's the coin. I have no idea what's going on. I want that hat though. Why couldn't I take that guy's hat? I should probably talk to these scientists before heading back down, huh? You can backtrack and find them later. Okay. This I will do. Right. I need a punch card still. <laughs> How have I been able to go so far in the level and not get anything? Okay. I mean, we're definitely not supposed to go here, right? We're just having an adventure, it's fine. To the death! The credits roll. Oh, I win. Show would be so brown. I feel like I've, I've committed a lot of sins in this game, and this is the least bad of them. Uh, <laughs> I'm totally gonna die. Uh, falling rocks, I guess. I mean. It has to be falling rocks, right? Uh, I think I need to line myself up. Pretty close. I'm gonna do this. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, that sucks. So is it truly a waterfall? Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Though. As long as there's not any like purple, I say, oh, by the way. See, this one's tricksy, right? Because then what do I do? What happens then? There's not that much time, so I have to wait here and then go. Okay. Right? So I go here, stand here, and I have to wait. And then I go. Why do I feel like I just got this wrong? Oh, uh, no! Because I did. <sighs> run, you fool! Run, 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 run! Ah! 
Okay. There's my heart rate. <laughs> I didn't wear my heart rate monitor, so we're never going to know how stressful that was. It's a rock fall. What did I write? Oh. <laughs> you know what? I'm good with that. <laughs> I'm good with mediocrity. It's fine. <laughs> this game. Oh, uh, like a water. I see. Uh, that's a good joke. I was going to over explain why I called it a waterfall, and then I realized that you're just making conversation and being polite and having fun. And I should not <laughs> over explain it because that's not reasonable. Uh, on time. Okay, that's not time. That's off, surely, right? This machine's definitely on time. Uh, we had to put stuff in. We don't have anything to put in. And then we had to do this, and then we had to do that. Yeah, so I'm missing stuff. Where do I get this stuff? What the hell? I guess caution falling rocks, right? Uh, so these are on and off. We know on and off. I do like how I have one that's just like math, question mark. <laughs> uh, off. I guess are open or closed. A lot of languages use those interchangeably. The crap is on. There we go. It wasn't falling rocks. It was death. <laughs> Okay, well. We are progressing. Still don't know what those symbols mean. Uh, can we do anything else? We can go here. And hopefully find some materials. Look at all these materials. We have so many materials. Okay, so this is probably gold. This guy. Which we definitely have that symbol. I did not have an answer for it, but that is gold. Um, I don't know. Presumably, I put the gold in the machine. Let's see if I have any other materials laying around. Yeah, you need engineering to put them there. <laughs> it must be really irritating to watch me play this game. Well, can I close the other one? <gasps> Those are the punch cards I needed. Oh, this one's open. I think I should go back and make the gold bar, I think. No, it's the music. Okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad someone's having fun. <laughs> no, I'm having fun too. Obviously. I wouldn't be doing it if I wasn't having fun. Uh, okay, so we turn the machine on. No. Why did gold bar? Doesn't want the gold bar either, really. Okay. Well, I should have known that backtracking was a mistake, but here we are. It, we won't have to go that far again. We'll be okay. Okay, so punch card goes here. Wait, is it the gold bar? No. It's a punch card. Okay. Oh, 
one of the punch cards, at least. And I got the little jingle, meaning I am on my way to success. Crap, this is where... This is where we were before. Okay, maybe that's not materials gold. Maybe this is uh, uh, like gold processing. Gold mining. Hmm. Uh, just show up and steal from people's lockers. Do, I, I mean, to be fair, I also stole gold bars. I feel like stealing a punch card from someone's locker is less bad than stealing a gold bar. But it was already smelted. Okay, so that was a smelting machine. Whoever smelt it did, in fact, deal it. That doesn't work. I made a syntax error. Yeah, they had tons of gold bars. They're not gonna sell them. What's that noise? Oh. Ah. oh, this person was trapped? They scared me. Why are you so scary? Uh This is a very weird interaction. Oh, it's the lighter! Oh, I'm gonna scare the crap out of that monster. Perfect. Uh, so help, probably? That one? Help? Somewhere? Where's help? Seems reasonable, right? Help. Uh, do I have any unfulfilled? I do, but I don't think that's gonna help us, ironically. Uh, a hippo is really heavy and a zippo is a little lighter. I read the punchline before I read the joke. So that's fun for everyone. It definitely doesn't ruin the comedy. <laughs> Cool. I'm super fun at parties. <gasps> I found a thing. Uh, okay, so that's warriors. Oh, that's a new one. was don't, right? Warriors don't. And then this is plants. All right, so this guy's plants. You know what I think? I, um, I think I came across I know you told me not to uh, panic, but I think I came across one of these in the first level and I didn't interact with it, so I don't think it counted. I think I got distracted. I know, it's super unlike me to get distracted and then forget to do something, but. Here we are. Okay, so I've descended a level. Interesting. I think I missed that one, but maybe not. There was nowhere else to go, right? Right, okay. Where else to go here? Nope. Then, I guess let's go back. I don't think there's anything else there to do, but I could be wrong. Um, we had gone there, I think. Yes, we had. Okay. So that goes up to the library. I'm missing something. Gotta be missing something. There's gotta be something more here.
can I exploit this puzzle again? No. And down there is the tower map thing. And this guy was just like, help me. And then I did. And I found his lighter. That's right, I found his lighter. Okay, so I think I need to go back to the monster, which was to the far right of the map. So I'll go this way. I think. Oh, but was it up or down? Will the map help? We're on the first floor. It can't be <laughs> this way, plural. That has to be wrong. It can't be this ways. Uh, golden engineering something. Oh, the fairy door. Okay. Okay, so that makes sense. That's closed. The culture materials. Cultural production. It's got to be production. It can't be materials. It has to be production. We're going to go full on Adorno. It has to be production. Okay. So there's food, and then above food is something. Okay. Uh, I don't remember which way the monster was. Oh, that's a dead end. Or is it? What are the three missing checkpoint thingies? This was the start, and I think I came from that direction. No, I came from this direction. This is where the monster was. I closed the door, and I ran in here. Okay, and then I solved that puzzle and ran up. So that means I have two more areas to explore. This is where I came from, yes. I'm trying to explore more here because... Why don't I have the lighter? Where'd my lighter go? I was gonna fight the monster. Well, what's over here? Oh, here we go. See? It's new. Feels like I was supposed to discover this sooner, but here we are. Okay, so I'm only missing one. I definitely just. Well, I'm missing two, because there's the one up there. Definitely goofed up somehow on that one. Uh, so this is the language of the Chosen. Seeking you are found we have. Okay. Oh, ooh, uh, ooh. wait. There's something else there. Gotta move the cart. There's some text at the bottom. Some graffiti. We got there. Yay! What if it was just a coexist bumper sticker? <laughs> uh, oh, well, this got pilled. <laughs> You're all asleep. We've woken up. Nice. Not giving you access to the inventory is a nice subtle way to let the player know they're backtracking. Well, yes. But also no, because this is new content for me. <laughs> I mean, yes, I, I was back. I, my God, had I discovered this first, that would have saved me a lot of confusion, but here we are. You know how I play games. Uh, oh, this would have been so helpful. You know, I don't think I have a find or a seek. Uh, 
crap. Okay, there are a couple that I don't have um, any kind of guesses for. Right? Uh, which symbols are on the mural? Yeah, that's a good question. This ha you all are asleep and I'm awake. Those ha that has to be correct. That absolutely has to be correct. Um, Hmm. It's on the mural. Oh, so is the message not pilled? No, I sorry, I'm gonna reject your or reject this. I want I want this graffiti artist to be completely pilled. I want this conspiracy. <laughs> it is not Phil. So, uh, no, like, I'm sorry. I guess that this game won't progress because <laughs> my head cannon is that this person came <laughs> along after getting some funny ideas on the internet. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry. That was Seek. Oh, I've gone backwards. Okay, so that was Seek, and then this one. <laughs> was found. Okay. <laughs> this is an awesome reading. <laughs> I do like the narrator's voice. It was not, in fact, built. <laughs> uh. But, like, come on. That does look like an unauthorized translation, right? That does look like graffiti of, like, well... Remember in the last level with the chosen ones with the bards where the servants had their underground hideout like freedom, right? Like I think my reading fits the narrative better. So chance of scenar narrative team, I am open for work. <laughs> the very idea that anyone would watch the stream <laughs> let alone be like, "Oh, Thank God. Yeah, that's what we were missing in our game. It's very, very funny to me. <laughs> I hope that comment comes off as uh, self-deprecating and not mean-spirited toward the dev team. Because that's the furthest thing from what I would want to do. All right, we have found some words. Friends, we have found some words. Uh, I... Move our first real sentence. That's really exciting. I'm an alchemist. I will help you. I don't know that that's what they were saying, actually. I don't think they would want to help me. Maybe they would. But it's a weird way. I can't mean that. I can't mean that. Um, so this is probably alchemist, right? That simple? Probably not this way. Probably alchemist. Alchemies. Uh, alchemy floor two. Maybe? Why not? Now, I don't know that we went this way, but I do know that the monster is this way, so I'm going to keep... Oh, you already have a word for alchemist. I have a word for alchemy. I want to keep going because the monster's over here. Yeah. Right? This is like the blocked off area. Yeah. The monster. Perfect. No. I can't. I, I think you'll find I can go there because I have this. I am displeased. Okay, where did this go, though? 
We have not been in this room. Okay. Well, this is a lot to take in. What's a metal click? Oh. Oh, middle click and shift do the same thing. Interesting. Uh, the fairies power the doors, probably. Uh, mm. The symbol opens the door. Or, yeah. Uh, uh, sciences? So I need light and these other... Those are atomic structures. And God bless everyone for thinking that I passed chemistry. I mean, I technically did. I think in high school chemistry, I got a D and then I avoided it in university. But, but we already have one for alchemy, right? We have alchemist. This has to be alchemy. I had another word for alchemy too. Uh, was mm. this has to be a lab? There's got to be a lab. That has to be a word. I refuse to live. She has a. Alchemistry. Oh no. Um math question mark. Uh so this is afraid. This is monster. Alchemy. This is some kind of growth. Maturation, culture, help, engineering, gold, lab, light, math. Oh, not afraid. We already have one. Uh, food. Yeah, that'd be gross. Production. Well, we've done all these. Power. Are you sure it's not math? It's not math. Okay. Hmm. It's reproduction. Book lab. It's not engineering, huh? That's the only one I don't know. So I guess I haven't found the glyph for it yet. Did I talk to this guy? Oh. Yes, I did talk to that guy. Okay. Did I talk to this guy? Ah, oh. oh, this guy wants math. <laughs> I'm researching math and alchemy. Oh, good for you. I, I, we... Are you writing a grant, too? Because if you're not doing that, then you're not researching shit. Oh, no, Epsilon. I did, in fact, find all those clips. But it's not food or math. Process of elimination. Do, 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 do. Like the. No, this one has to be alchemy. There's no way. And this one has to be food, but maybe we can eat the butterfly. Ew. That's definitely a monster. That's definitely afraid. This is definitely light, but. Let's try math. Let's try the tower. Let's try power. None of those work. Perhaps another approach is in order. Oh, yeah, you aren't joking. I literally do have all the glyphs. 
<laughs> I just noticed that all those places are filled in. Uh, I'm sure that that is monster. I'm sure that that's also me. I'm pretty sure that that's afraid. It can't be. I, I've gotten these out of order somehow. Uh, go back to the dark door that you couldn't enter and press shift. Do, 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 do. Nope. Ah, come back. It's over here. What's this guy doing? Doesn't look like he's writing a grant. Oh, I have to light the lamp. I just noticed that there's a lamp. <laughs> ah! Uh, we have help. We have light or fire. Hmm. Maybe power moonlight. Nice. Make fire help. Okay, so now we have fewer guesses here. Okay. Oh, I should have looked at Ah, oh, crap, hold on. I should have looked at this. That has to be right. The monster's afraid of fire. This is legit. You have all but one of the journal pages. Excellent. Is there anything in here besides that? Ooh, the secret lab three. Ooh, this is exciting. Beep, 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 boop. Uh, five, three, nine, right? Five, three, nine. Shit. What was the, we saw a symbol. It was in the hat. Five three nine. Unless I goofed up. That's mine. Okay, this is a order of the numbers. So is it 5,309? It is not. Uh, the adding machine may be useful for verifying numbers. I think it's five, three, I think it's five, three, nine, zero. Let's try that, five, three, nine, zero. It is not that, okay. Back to the adding machine we go. Which was here. I also like how we call this the adding machine. Uh, okay, so if we, I need to stop clicking frantically. Um, this was the thousands, right? Okay, so that was five. We did that. Is this 300? Oh, 300 be over there. Okay, so it's not 100. God, why can't I learn to, okay. But this would make eight, right? So this would be 8,000, right? So that's also not the right place for it. Uh, so this is 30. So 
Okay, we get it. Except I still don't remember how to click properly. Uh, and then what was nine? Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. So this should, yes. 5,000. So 5039 is what I'm looking for. Now I understand the point of the adding machine. It's a clever puzzle. I like it. Okay, five, zero, three, nine. Ah, yes. Oof, monsters angry, huh? Me find math. Me find alchemy. Indeed. So this is some sort of equation that has numbers. So that's 1,405. That's a lot. I'm not going to remember that. But I'm going to write it down, surely. Math! <laughs> Gold, engineering, and question mark. Okay. These are codes. I'll worry about those later. Uh, there's a pit. Let's look in the pit. Those are big feet and handprints. Okay. Is that it? That's all I can do? That's not interactable? Okay. Get hacked door. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, the monster is Bigfoot or Big Hand. It has 812 engineerings. Now, here's my question. Do I input those numbers here? Probably not, because what is that going to do? The door's already open. So there's probably other door puzzles that have a similar um, number system. Where'd my lantern go? Okay, so I have gone through here. Have I gone down here? Yes, I have. Where do I even put this code? Okay, we are over time. So, I think this is a good place to stop because I'm stumped. So maybe this is a bad place to stop, stop because when I start again next week, I'm going to be like, wait, where am I supposed to go? Um, I don't remember. I have a gold bar. Ah. Uh, but I think it's as good a place to stop as any because there's one room we haven't been inside yet, but that's for next time. Is it? Where's this room? How dare? Is it nearby? Tell me if it's nearby. I'm nothing if not impulsive. Oh, I haven't gone in the mess hall. That's a good point. Is the mess hall up here? I like stopping when I'm stumped because it gives my brain time to think of what to do next. That is a good... Yes. Jeffrey. You are correct. I came back at four when the mess hall opened. Perfect. Like any... Okay. If they, if they really did this, no one would ever eat. Academics are not going to leave their research to eat. Get out of here. Uh, all right, we're figuring this out. Are we figuring this out? Ah, what was the book? This is the food. Thank you. 
they call it a mine. I've got all of these wrong, right? I think that um, <laughs> that was the symbol for library. Okay, Refract refectory, mine, and laboratory. So there is a culture mine, which is terrifying. Uh, okay. Why is that not working? It has to be that like monster and afraid are opposite or something. Has to be. There's no freaking way otherwise. I have so few options now. What is this? I, I have too many symbols. Yeah. Can the symbols double up? Just in time. Monster and Afraid were not swapped. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose it. I'm absolutely gonna lose it. This is so freaking irritating. Look in this room and then take a break. No, I'm gonna slam my head against the wall repeatedly. <laughs> Okay, cool, thanks. Refractory is open. Why do I want to add an R in that word? Refractory. Oh yeah, that's relatable. Uh, engineering. <laughs> okay, so engineering is not <laughs> the word, as you all have likely... Uh, figured out. Uh, that's probably metal. But here's what I don't understand. Are coins gold or is the ring gold? Those are metal, I guess. Is that, is it, is it not gold? Is it like commerce? Good God. Well, I know it's not a math rock. <laughs> you found engineering. These are engineering cutlery. I feel like, uh, you know, that's not entirely unreasonable because that could be like stamped, you know, like this is the property of engineering. Maybe you've seen these examples somewhere like in a book lab, but those were numbered. They had numbers. They didn't have... I supposed to look at the material it's made out of. Haha, -ha, alchemy. Right. I have seen this symbol somewhere before. Okay, so metal, gold. I'm starting to think culture is wrong. <laughs> and this is probably rock, right? Uh, so rock, metal. All right, let's go to the book lab. Whenever you can't figure something out, just go to the book lab. There were signs that had the same numbers. God dang it. I thought those were like floors. Hey, you know what? I will give this level uh, that it's easy to navigate. This is much easier for me than the garden level. I got lost every freaking minute in the garden level. Uh, okay, this has two. Two coins. Two is metal, so the coins are metal. God. Ah, we did it. Three is culture. We're not gonna. One is gold. Uh, is this the ring? It's the gold ring. Okay, so that one's gold. Oh, okay. Well, I had that one there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's rock, so this is culture. Panzer culture. Ah, oh, it was copper. <laughs> it's carpet, not rock. 
Okay, well, good, because that means that we can finish this. Blech. This is nonsense. Ah, oh, it's not alchemy, it's transformation. Okay. I, mm. No, no, go back. I need to see what the, yeah, I could play the translation, who cares? That was formula, not math. Stupid, it's dumb. All right, well, cool, I have some forks now. <laughs> I'm angry that I have a cutlery. That copper culture, easy mistake. Right? I feel like the door is going to be a very different read for me from now on. Copper production, not culture production. I thought this um, game was going very different. I thought this was making some like Theodore Dorno commentary. I thought this was like Frankfurt School. Uh, I thought this game was pilled to the gills. I thought I got called a sheeple at the beginning of the level. Culture mine, that's... Use the forks, Luke. <laughs> uh, uh, there's a machine I have to use, right? I really enjoyed your interpretation. Projection. <laughs> hey, when all you have is a fork, all your problems Looks like chicken nuggets. You know what they say. So the fairies built the door. Is this the next level fairies? We went here, right? Yes, this was the fifth one. So. I should have everything, right? The next level is fairies. Oh, I want to go to the next level really bad. Epsilon, I really want to go. Um, the machine is in the gold production. Smelt them forks. Okay. Uh, here? Question mark? No. <laughs> Decidedly not. Uh, where were the production? The productions, plural. So I need to go down the level. Okay. The map worked. Wait, am I going up? No, okay, good. Phew. Actually, I'm gonna wrap up. Proceeds to play for another hour. Let's play for three more hours. Is it really gonna take three hours to get the fairies? No, 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 it won't, right? I just have to smelt some things. Are you saying that because I get lost all the time? Melting machine, it's like right over here. It's not gonna be quite. Damn it, no, but I love these fairies. Okay, that's not the right way. I was just there in the gold mine? Okay. See, this is super fast. So, is that copper? have questions now. I'm seeing this this level is completely different now that I know the words for copper and gold. Okay, but this has been smelted, so I don't need the gold. I need this guy. Ha! supposed to do? Oh, like that. Oh, I have to pump it? I'm so glad I didn't just eat my silverware.
Is that copper? What is this? There's no symbol on it. How am I supposed to know? This is a good stopping point once you smell the forks. It's engineering. <laughs> you eat with silverware. It's engineering. Yeah, you're using your tool, right? Okay, 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 okay. I am actually hungry. So <laughs> sometimes my um, obsessive tendencies are trumped by the fact that I do like to eat. So I think everyone is correct. This is a good stopping point. We have some options uh, in terms of who to raid. Um, let's see. My caps locks are on. Uh, let's do raid, and then what? What are y'all's plans for today? I am going to eat some food, and then I am going to get ready for work next week. So fun. Uh, let's go read my friend Dexter. Whomst I am a friend of. Uh, but I have not seen them in a very long time. So. They have some cool visuals on their channel. Sorry. Okay, let's do this. Let's go read the channel. Um, they're a DJ and they have some really cool visuals uh, going. Um, but yes, I will see you all next week. Hear the music? So good. Uh, I hope you have an awesome week and I hope that all your holiday season preparations are going well. If you celebrate Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah. And uh, I hope you have a nice smooth week. A smooth week. No, no engineering forks for you this coming week. Bye, everyone. <laughs>